Finally, on a positive note, I wanted to mention the Swedish study and then ask Dr. Fauci some questions about that because I think it really illuminates some of the exciting findings in science. Uh, T cells are a type of white blood cell. They regulate immune, immune response. The Swedish study found that many people with mild asymptomatic COVID demonstrate so-called T cell immunity to the coronavirus. The study further found that twice as many who tested positive for antibodies had T cell immunity. So we know there are tons of people out there with immunity that we aren't testing. And I'd love for you, sir, if you could comment, educate America, educate all of us a little bit on T-cell immunity and what the ramifications are to the plans. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I'll very quickly try to answer that. So there are two limbs of the immune response. One is an antibody, which is a protein that is made by the cells of the body to bind to the virus and is usually the hallmark of protection against infection. There's another limb of the immune response called the cellular immune response of T cells. And those T cells have the capability of essentially suppressing or killing cells that are infected and preventing the cells that are infected from making new viruses. So there are two parts of it. Even though one is generally felt to be protecting against the initial infection, the other is an important complementary. And you're right, the Swedes came out with a paper and also a paper from NIH grantees from La Jolla just came out in the journal Cell showing the same thing, that in individuals who were infected and recovered, they had T cell responses, but importantly, there was T cell reactively also detected in non-exposed individuals, which means that maybe there's some memory from other coronaviruses that are benign cold viruses that you were exposed to that might, and I say might, explain why some people, even children, might be protected that they had exposure that's not measured in antibody, but measured by T cells. This is work that we really need to pursue. We're just at the cusp of understanding the importance of this type of response in COVID-19. Thank you.